Dollar Tree haul time, y'all. I have almost 40 to 50 items that I just got from Dollar Tree this week, and I want to show them to you. Come on. All right, so I already spread some of it out on my bed. Y'all, I got a lot of stuff. I got hair accessories, body care products. So if you checked out my last Dollar Tree shot with me, you saw that in that shot with me, I found the brand logo socks that i have been looking for i grabbed six pairs that i'm not mistaken there's like 12 different ones i have the mtv bagel bite the pop tart wild berry oscar meyer wiener hippie peanut butter and the chips avoid of the six pairs that i have i don't know which one i like the most they're all so cute to me but i really like the chip ahoy one i like how the logo stands out on the black background these are look so cute with some black sneakers i wanted to give me some nike panda ducks in either black and white or the dark brown and white. I really want the dark brown and white. I really want both of them. Y'all, I was over here thinking that Nike Dunks were like $60. I go to go get myself a pair of the chocolate brown Nike Dunks. Why are them hoochies $110? So y'all already know I have to budget that in. So we're gonna get them eventually. Then I also got a lot of hair accessories. So first I got two really cute headbands. Not sure of the brand name of these headbands, but they're so cute. I have a solid black one, and then I have this lighter blue with some yellow palm leaves. It's a satiny silk material. These are really cute, y'all. I'm gonna be too cute with these on. I almost wore this black one for the video, but I didn't feel like redoing my hair, so I just kept on the black headband that I'm currently wearing, which yes, I did get it from Dollar Tree. <laughs> then I also got these head wraps from Dollar Tree. These came in a pack of three, and I can't remember if I showed these in my most recent Dollar Tree shot with me. So I don't remember how many color options that they had. The one that I got has a light blue, a light taupe, and then a coral in it. I love these very much. I have some other head wraps from Dollar Tree. They're like in a textured, like diamond weave pattern. Y'all, them head wraps are so tight. They literally give me a headache. I absolutely cannot wear them for long periods of time. But I think that has to do with the texture of them. Since these are smooth, I don't have a problem with them being too tight on my head. And for claw clips, y'all, I got some of the cutest claw clips known to Dollar Tree and mankind. The first one I got is this one. How beautiful is this? So this has gold rhinestones and pearls on it. Y'all, it is so cute and beautiful. I can't wait to wear this. And then I also got these two claw clips. Both of these are matte. I got this really cute matte gray one and then a matte lavender one. And from looking at them, the lavender one does look like it's longer than the gray one. They're both very cute. I can't wait to wear either of these. But my favorite claw clips I was able to grab this week are these, y'all. How stinking cute are these. These are fruit inspired claw clips. And if I'm not mistaken, they have four of them. These were the ones that were most cute to me. I think the other one was a strawberry. So I have the watermelon, the cherries, and the pineapples. Unfortunately, they did not have a lemon. You guys know how I feel about lemons right now. Lemons are my thing. Hopefully they do have a lemon claw clip out there that I'm able to find. And I might double back and get the strawberry one. But when I seen these, just these three were speaking to me. And I also got this really cute scrunchie. I told you guys in the previous video about me and my love for scrunchies and how I don't have that many scrunchies. So I just got this cute basic tweed scrunchie that is lined in a mesh that has a gold chain going through it. Y'all, it's very fancy. It's giving very much clueless. This is gonna look so cute when I do my half up, half downs with a scrunchie. I need to learn some more hairstyles. I just started doing that half up, half down hairstyle. I saw on another creator's channel, her name is Lydia Dinga. I love watching her vlogs. She's a UK based creator. If you haven't heard of her and you like vlogs, definitely check out her channel. I think you might like it. And staying with hair care and things, I also got this heat protecting spray from the brand Salon Selectives. This is the brand that sells that hair mask in that little cute container. For months, y'all, that's all, actually for years, that's all I ever saw from that brand. And I think two Dollar Tree shops ago with me, we ran across this. So this is their heat protecting spray. And it includes coconut oil in it. And I just got me another bottle of this tea tree oil. This is Via Naturals tea tree oil. Every time we run across this, I always recommend getting it. This brand also has castor oil, vitamin E, and I want to say coconut oil that Dollar Tree carries. And all three of those products are amazing. 
I specifically get the tea tree oil for the antibacterial benefits that it has. And it's also good for itchy scalp. That's the main thing that I use my tea tree oil for. The benefits of using tea tree oil on your scalp help reduce the itchiness by help unclogging and cleaning off your scalp and your hair follicles. I've seen reports saying that tea tree oil can also help your hair grow, but when you think about it, if you're keeping your scalp clean, your hair will definitely be growing. Retain that length that your hair is growing. That's when you want to be taking care of the ends of your hair. You can also put this on the ends of your hair as well because your hair is breaking off more than likely because it is dry. It's breaking off as fast as it's growing, which is something I dealt with twice. So now I know how to retain length. I'm able to grow my hair down here here actually a little bit a little bit longer than this current hair that i'm wearing which is a 14 inch bob my hair is about 16 inches but it is not thick at all y'all i maybe have like this much hair i don't have a lot of hair but it's a decent length <laughs> and i also grabbed this product i saw this and i thought this was super cool this is from the brand urban hydration this is their castor and shea face mask if you watch any of my shop with me you know my love for companies that put cute little introductions of their products on the labeling so this product by urban hydration tells us why we should use it and what's in it and the benefits that we're going to get from it so with this product it is going to help detoxify exfoliate and hydrate our skin and they even tell us why we should use it this brand is trusted by millions natural formulations products with results smells and feels good that's right up my alley. So, so glad I grabbed this. And I could have sworn that on someone else's channel, I saw this face mask but with different ingredients. I have not seen this product with different ingredients in any other locations. Hopefully it's out there. Hopefully it just was a figment of my imagination that I saw that. And for more skincare, I picked up some cleansing wipes. You guys know my current love for cleansing wipes. The first cleansing wipe I got was from the brand The Spa Carry. Y'all, I have no clue how to pronounce this brand name. And nobody has corrected me, so I think I might be pronouncing it right. I have no idea. This is their aloe vera facial cleansing wipe. I ran across this product before. I don't remember why I didn't get it. I think I may have already reached my Dollar Tree budget for that day. So, so glad I found these again. I have like four or five different facial cleanser wipes in rotation right now. And y'all, I love them all. Considering my skin tone and texture just continues to improve day over day. It's leading me to believe that my current skincare routine is working. I believe I've told you guys before all the different products that I use on my skin. As far as my face serums go, I buy all my face serums from the brand The Ordinary. I buy those products at Ulta. And then I also got from the Global Beauty Care from their, from their Fresh and Fruity line. This is their Watermelon and Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Cleansing Wipes. I had these before in my last Dollar Tree shot with me. I was telling you guys that I had these, but I gave them away to someone because I really like them. And I'm, I'm one of those people who likes to give stuff away. And I had only used three of them and I still really like them. So I'm glad I found this again because I have not seen Global Beauty Care's Fresh and Fruity line in a minute. Like, since it debuted, I've maybe seen it two or three more times and I haven't seen it in the last two months. So, so glad that I found these. What I really like about this product is that it has hyaluronic acid and retinol in it, but the retinol is the second to last ingredient in this product. So to me, that means there's a very, very minute amount of retinol. And this is a product that you'd want to use after you're done cleansing your face and you're about to put your serums on because you do not want to wash off the hyaluronic acid and the retinol and i'm pretty sure there's glycerin in here as well and i also found another pack of cleansing wipes these are comparable to cetaphil's gentle skin cleansing cloths with aloe vera b5 and b3 i grabbed these because of the aloe vera I love using aloe vera on my skin in the summertime. I don't know about you, but I get heat rashes as soon as it hits about 75 degrees. I currently have heat rashes on both of my hands. I got these to use for when I have my heat rashes. So I was gonna wipe my skin down with these and then go back on top with 100% aloe vera gel to help cool and soothe my heat rashes. I'm actually surprised I only have these little patches right now on my hands. Normally y'all, actually, I take that back. I do have a little bit happening on both my arms, y'all. It was really hot and humid here in Indianapolis yesterday, y'all. I don't know what was going on, but my body, y'all, my body can sense when it's hot, even if I'm in a house and I do not go outside. If my body knows that it's 75 degrees and sunny, I get a heat rash. It's really crazy. So if you struggle from heat rashes as, as well and haven't found a solution, try 100% aloe vera gel. You can even use the green one, the sunburn one. It works as well. I just prefer to use 100% aloe vera gel. 
because the green one I think is designed for sunburn and this isn't technically sunburn. According to uh, WebMD, this is a form of eczema. <laughs> now, I also got some deodorant. So this is from the brand Power Stick. This is their aluminum free lavender vanilla. And then I also got it in a cucumber mint. I have been using the cucumber mint. In my last Dollar Tree shop with me, I was telling you guys how I'm in my family planning stages. So I'm trying to you know, kind of like reduce the amount of like processed and chemical -y things that I put in my body. And I read somewhere that using deodorants with aluminum in it is not good for the reproductive organs. I don't know how true that is. I've only heard it from not necessarily random people on the internet, but random pregnant women on the internet. And even when my sister was pregnant, she stopped using like some body work stuff. That's when she switched to using aluminum free, native brand, all that stuff. So I need to do my own research on that end. But before I get pregnant, I was like, well, let me go ahead and try this aluminum free. Cause I've heard that individuals who use aluminum free deodorant typically always stink. Y'all, when I use that cucumber mint, it smells so good going on, but I kid you not. As soon as I started to perspire even a touch, my body odor was just all through the room. I was helping my sister move. So you can only imagine what was going on. So I was like, this um, aluminum free might not be for me. So if you have any tips or a brand that you use that's aluminum free that has worked for you, I was really excited about this, y'all. They both scents smell really, really good. So I was really quite hurt that my body odor was too much for that aluminum free power stick to handle. Speaking of Native, the brand Personal Care, this is their Coconut Vanilla Body Wash. According to Vivian Trice, this product is a dupe for the Native Body Care products. In my last haul, I picked up the Jelly Bean scent and the Peach Ring scent. Y'all, they smell so good. That Peach Ring smells exactly like Peach Ring candies, in my opinion. And y'all, now that I'm looking at the ingredients on this one, I didn't notice in the other ones, this one also has aloe vera in it. And I just told you guys my love for aloe vera. Aloe vera is great at hydrating and helping to repair the skin. So if you have scratches on your body, heat rash, mosquito bites, and you need some relief, definitely try using aloe vera. So I haven't used these body washes. I have been buying them for my guest bathroom, but I'm definitely gonna try one of these. I have been using B. Pierce Dupe of Olay's Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. I'm about out and I've been using that product for three weeks now, I think. And I have not seen any changes in my skin. I've already told you guys I have been experiencing the rough elbows and the rough knees. Those issues have persisted. The main reason I got the Hyaluronic Acid is because Hyaluronic Acid is supposed to hydrate. That body wash is not doing it for me. so. So once I'm done with it, I'm not going to use it anymore. I'm not going to buy it again. But I do also have the vitamin E, I believe. And vitamin E is good for skin tone and skin texture. So I'm going to see if uh, my body responds better to that one. And that, that one, I'm probably going to switch over to this coconut vanilla. I'm probably going to use this one tomorrow to see if I like it. So if I run into it again when I do another shot with me video, I can go ahead and grab me some. And then on a whim, y'all, I grabbed this cutie here. This is by the brand Taste Beauty. This is their scented hand lotion in the scent vanilla cream i can't resist a cute hand lotion you guys already know how i feel about being moisturized and the main selling point on this lotion was it comes with a little latch on it so i can hook it to my keys i can hook it to my gym bag i can hook it to my nephew i can hook it to whatever i need to hook it to so that i make sure i stay moisturized especially hooking to my nephew y'all he's always ashy then i found this fabulous thing for dollar 25 this is by the brand luminot this is their Travel battery powered toothbrush. I'm not 100% positive if I've ever seen a battery powered toothbrush in Dollar Tree. I don't think I have. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen an electric toothbrush in Dollar Tree. I might have, but then again, I don't really remember. And my main reason for getting this one was for travel purposes because it already comes in a cute little case. You just pop your battery in there. Then I have three packs of Huggy Wipes. Y'all, I get Huggy Wipes every time I go to Dollar Tree. I'm currently building a stockpile of Huggy Wipes. I keep them in all of my bathrooms. I'm one of those people who likes to use wipes after toilet paper. It just helps me stay fresher, especially in the summertime, sweating all over. It's good to keep wipes in your bathrooms or even on you 
so you can keep yourself nice and fresh and you don't have to worry about body odors and things like that. And then I also got this exfoliating washcloth. We've seen these multiple times in Dollar Tree and I have been meaning to get one. If you know me, you know that I love exfoliating. I buy all my exfoliating gloves at Dollar Tree. And the ones I'm currently using are by this brand, Spa April Bath and Shower. And y'all, when I tell you those gloves literally give me all new skin, but they're not working on my rough areas, which I don't understand why, but they're working on all my other areas, y'all. When I exfoliate, I am so soft. I have like brand new skin. My skin is so soft when people touch it, they always are like, why is your skin so soft? Because I exfoliate. And I, make, I exfoliate three times a week. At one point in time before I was exfoliating three times a week, I literally used to be 10 different colors. Each body part was a different tone of brown. It was terrible. Now I'm only two different colors. My hands don't match my body for obvious reasons. I know most people's color of their hands don't match their bodies because your hands get more sun than the most than most of your body. So I'll take it. I'll take being two different colors over being 10 different colors. So I picked up this to see if I prefer using the washcloth over using the exfoliating glove. Then I also grabbed this. This is Premier Plus 7 Day Pill Organizer. I believe I've already told you guys that I have started taking vitamins. I believe I started taking vitamins a month ago. I take B12, D3, magnesium, zinc, folic acid, and digestive enzymes. And y'all, ever since I started taking those vitamins, I wake up feeling refreshed. I didn't have trouble sleeping before. My main issue was I was wake up, I was waking up feeling so exhausted and I could not get up. It was horrible. And I was also having like random like neck pain and shoulder pain and According to TikTok, it was telling me that my cortisol was too high and that I was vitamin deficient, which I had a feeling I probably was vitamin D deficient because I don't go outside. Well, I go outside, but I don't be in the sun because they say that's how you get your natural uh, vitamin D is by being in the sun. So since adding those vitamins into my diet, I have been feeling so, so much better. When I initially started taking the vitamins, my shoulder and neck pain completely disappeared. But in the last week, it's returned. So I think I might need to up my dose on my magnesium. All right, and my other bag, I have a lot of nail polish. If you guys have watched my channel before, you know that I am DIYing my own mains and petties. Right now, the color on my hands is a Sally Henson color. This is Hardcore Party in the hardest nails line. The hard nails line at Walmart is only $1.98. And I also love this line as well the Insta Dry and in Target and Walmart the Insta Dry is $5.99 and $5.98. Of course you know Dollar Tree was only $1.25 and I found some polishes in there from their Pride collection. So it must have been their Pride collection from last year because it's just now Pride this year. So I got this beautiful yellow in the Sunshine Shimmers. I got this beautiful ready orange in the shade Half Cherry. This beautiful blue in the shade Peeps Blue Chick. If you remember back in March, Sally Henson did a collection with Peeps that was sold in Five Below. We ran into this product in Five Below. They had several colors. They had the blue, they had a lavender, they had one with like glitter in it. From their Good Kind Pure Vegan line, I got this color in the shade Soft Plum. I have another polish in this line. You guys remember when my nails were that pretty purple grape color? That is from this line. Then I found this really cool new product from the brand So Fresh and So Clean. This is their astringent dynamic drying lotion with alamine. So from my understanding, a drying lotion can be used on acne. I have a drying lotion from the Mirai brand. I love it down bad. I don't get acne that often, but when I do, I have a lot of things that I have up here and there to use on it. So I figured this might be something cool to try and since it has calamine in it i got it also to use on my heat rashes i intend to mix this with my aloe vera since how my lotion is used for poison ivy i got a little bit of makeup i got b colors newest scented cherry line they have a cherry scented highlighter and blush in y'all how stinking cute is this the cherries are the highlighter and then the matte pink outside is the blush and in that line they also have eyeshadows in the eyeshadow palette you get two matte shades and two shades shade i really like the color story on this and i also have a cherry scented lip gloss and the color of this lip gloss looks to be a darker mauve to me i got two different masks i have a two pack of freeman's cosmic holographic cloth mask the luminizing rose quartz i'm pretty sure i've talked to you guys about this particular mask before from freeman they make four different ones they have a pink a purple a gold a silver and i love them all and it looks so cute on the face 
And then from B Pure, I got their peach sheet mask with hyaluronic acid and peach extract. And y'all, I'm really excited about this mask because it's printed with little peaches on it. I'm gonna look so cute in this. I also got these body scrubs from Global Beauty Care. I got them in two different scents. I have the cotton candy exfoliating sugar scrub and the hyaluronic acid exfoliating body scrub. So the cotton candy scented one is a sugar scrub and the hyaluronic acid is a salt scrub. So in my experience from using both sugar scrubs and salt scrub my skin tends to like sugar scrubs better while my feet really enjoy a salt scrub i'm guessing that's because it's rougher skin down there compared to the rest of the skin on my body that makes sense to me so i decided to try both of these the hyaluronic acid is sea salt and cucumber and also the brand the spa carry has body lotions not in the cotton candy but they have it in a gummy bear scent so this sugar scrub also comes in a gummy bear scent i wanted to get that one that they were out but i passed on the body butter from the spa curry mainly because it has mineral oil in it and if you did not know i do not mess with things that have mineral oil in it mainly because mineral oil is essentially baby oil and baby oil is not absorbed into the skin and literally just sits there and because it's just sitting there you're not getting any hydration this is from b pure's newest feminine collection line this is their feminine deodorant spray in the cucumber scent i'm so excited for this i intend to put this in my cosmetic bag that i keep in my purse to keep with me throughout the day i'm one of those people who does like to stay fresh whenever i'm out somewhere and i smell something i want to know without the shower of a doubt that it's not me <laughs> so i carry wipes on me hand sanitizer now this i carry that vip poopery well the dollar street version of it i showed you guys that in my last dollar street haul i've recently found in a new scent i have it in the sea salt scent the other scents like some fruity one it's like in a floral bottle i carry that with me as well because you never know and then i also got this from the brand radiant this is their skincare line geared towards melanin rich individuals so this is their oat milk and honey cream cleanser with ceramides for melanin rich skin i'm very excited about this in this collection they have several other things one of the things is like an oil thing i wanted to get everything in the collection but when i ran across it again this is all they had left so i was like oh, i'll take what i can get and this also give me a chance to try out this collection to see if i even like it because this product does have two different types of glycerin as well as three different types of serum if you're not familiar with using ceramides, if you're familiar with the brand Ceruve, that is a ceramide based product. Ceramides essentially are moisturizers and hydrators and really help with healing and repairing skin. Because having ceramides in your body care product helps your skin maintain and restore moisture, helps maintain a healthy skin barrier, hence why Ceruve is geared towards individuals suffering from eczema because you have the eczema and the flares and basically has disturbed our skin barrier. So those ceramides are helping to repair our barrier. And then I re-upped on my dental floss. This is Grin. You can also get this product at Target for $3. It's either $2.99 or $3.99. I always buy mine at Dollar Tree. And here recently, the last pack that I bought, the little flossies have been pink. Previously, my flossers, the little floss area has been white. So I'm kind of happy now that they have made the floss area pink because you can even see on the packaging, the floss area is white. But when you look in here to, to see what the actual product looks like, you can see that it's pink. So I'm so happy about that. And then I also got Lumen's Face Moisturizer. If I'm not mistaken, this brand also has two other products carried at Dollar Tree. A one's like a charcoal something and one's a something else, I think an eye cream or something like that. I wanted to get this one because it has ginger root extract as one of the ingredients. And I happen to really enjoy ginger root extract in my skincare. And lastly, from B Pure, I have their cuticle oil. This cuticle oil includes green adventurine crystals in it, and it also had a rose quartz. I almost got the rose quartz, but I always get rose quartz. So I was like, let me be different and get the green one. So this oil is formulated with a whole oil called coconut oil and vitamin E oil. Although I don't really care to use coconut oil on my skin, my cuticles like it and my whole body and my hair and everything loves jojoba oil as well as vitamin E oil. And y'all just look how cute the product is. It has the little crystals in the bottom. Oh, I love it so much. I have I already have like three different cuticle oils that I have bought from Dollar Tree and I love them all dearly. I hope you saw something this haul that makes you want to run out to Dollar Tree. So I'll see you there.